I'm going to talk about a story that I've never told, and I can't believe I haven't thought about it. And I think it, I think it's because it was repressed. I repressed it for a long time. But um, we're going to talk about Tinder today. We're going to have a good time talking about Tinder today. Make sure you push the thumbs up thing and you subscribe. Because that's important. I don't know if you guys realize this, but this is my life. <laughs> One day I was on Tinder, like the young strapping lads that are desperate and dead inside do, you know. Trying to clap a cheek or two, a left cheek or right cheek, doesn't really matter which cheek it is as long as they fat as hell. Because your boy's all about some thick turd cutters, I'm going to be honest. I was talking to this girl. And she was hot as hell, baby. And you know, you know the story's gonna be bad when they're sexy, right? There's just something about sexy girls that just screams, stay away because I'm gonna ruin your life in more ways than one. So, girls hot as hell, right? We've been through this, all right? We know how this, po this goes, but I decide that it can't hurt to go to a movie, right? Like, just let's just go to a movie in a public place where if you're crazy, people will shame you. And I won't have to feel too bad about dropping your ass off. I pick this girl up and we start driving. Now, I, I, I want to talk about something real quick. The main reason I like talking to girls or I match with girls or whatever is because I like to carry on conversations. I like to talk to people. All right. I love conversing. Okay. She was great at talking. Fantastic, witty, quick. That's what I like, baby. The quicker you are, the stiffer I am. If you witty, I'm grabbing the titty. Look, I pick this girl up. We drive 20 minutes to the theater and this girl doesn't say a word, all right? She doesn't say a single damn word, which is scaring me a little. She's scary, I'm kind of scared, all right? I'm gonna be honest. So we get to the theater and there's a small restaurant attached to the theater. So you boys gotta get some food in them because I'm fat as hell, all right? I got some thick ass cheeks too. I have to feed my cheeks or else they'll get small. And your boy wants to have some fat turd cutters too to compare to the girls he be clapping. So we go to the restaurant, all right? And this restaurant has pizza and whatnot. And I tell this girl in conversation on Tinder, I don't drink very much because at the time I really didn't. Now, look, on the weekends and stuff, I might slam a few te uh, a few tequila shots. But in comparison to my friends, I didn't drink that much. My friends drank like every day, like every, every hour of every day they were drinking. I only drank on like on Saturday, every other Saturday, maybe every other other Saturday. Right? So I tell her that, hey, I'm not a super big drinker. Well, she tells me she doesn't drink at all. She's like, look, I don't drink. All right. And I'm like, dude, that's great. That's perfect. This is all going to work out. <laughs> well, we get to this restaurant. And before we even sit down, this girl is ordering a damn, I don't remember. I think it was like a vodka Red Bull or some shit, which is so white girl. And I should have saw this coming. By the way, white girl, attractive vodka Red Bull run away. All right. I don't know what it is, but they put some crack in the vodka Red Bull. They put a little bit of that crazy stuff in there, make them crazy as hell. She orders this before we even sit down. This is a problem, all right? I don't know about you, but this is a problem, okay? Because she told me she wasn't about that lie, but it's fine. It's fine. We start, you know, chilling. You know, I order a small drink, you know, because I'm, I'm trying to be part of the team here. And we order our food. And she smashes the vodka Red Bull so fast. And before we even order our food, she orders another one of them bitches. All right. Now, look, she told me she don't drink at all. She's like adamant against it. So I'm like thinking to myself, is this the same girl? Because I'm kind of worried, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. So we start smashing the food because that's all I really care about. Now, I got to put this out there. She started being a lot more talkative after she had been drinking, which is a lot better. You know, it's a lot more, it's a lot more comfortable. I feel a little bit better about life. She's drinking, you know, I'm drinking a little bit. She's starting to loosen up and I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe everything's going to turn around. We're going to have a good time. We're going to fist bump, maybe smash a pisser. It's going to have a good, it's going to be, have, it's going to have a good outcome, a positive change in my dark ass life. Well, immediately in the middle of the food, she just orders another vodka Red Bull. She's three of these bitches in and she's like a small little blonde girl. But it's fine. Don't worry about it. So at this point, I'm starting to get a little nervous, you know. But maybe, maybe I can sit through the movie and, you know, drop her ass off. And nothing's going to happen. It's going to be a good time. So we leave the restaurant. Now, there, I got to give you some context here. The theater has an attached bar in the theater. It's a really nice theater. I don't know about you guys, but I live in like a kind of a large city. And everything's real nice. 
okay? Like, it's not scary and stabby as hell, which is really good. It's not downtown Atlanta. You're not going to get robbed with toenail clippers, all right? She goes over to this bar while I'm getting the damn tickets or whatever and orders another vodka Red Bull, all right? This is number four, son, and she just takes it to the movie theater, all right? And she smashes it within, like, 35 seconds. The previews hadn't even started. I love the previews, but all I'm doing is having stress and anxiety about this tiny little girl smashing vodka Red Bull that's supposedly not a, not a drinker. Well, by the time this movie starts, this girl is blind ass drunker than hell. Blind ass drunker than hell, son. And I'm pretty, pretty worried <laughs> because I've had to take care of people before. You ever had a friend get drunk and you it completely sobers you up and you have to like take care of them like a giant ass baby? That's kind of how this is going. So this girl's just 100% shit faced, which in a home environment not be not may not be very bad, but in a theater environment with a completely packed ass theater, it's kind of scary. So all of a sudden, okay, I feel somebody sloppily trying to lick on the side of my face. This girl was trying to make out with my side of my face. All right, unprovoked, randomly, okay randomly licking on the side of my face. She keeps doing that over and over again until I have to kind of like push her off me. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I wanna watch the movie and two, I'm not into it. She smells like alcohol, she's dead. And I've I've never been comfortable with like do engaging in anything with like a girl that is shit faced. It's, it's weird to me, I don't like it. So she's sloppily kissing and just like completely soaking the side of my head, all right? And I had just taken a bath for the first time in a week Okay, I had finally bathed and she's ruining everything. She's acting like I, I'm a damn chihuahua. She's like licking, licking my face. I decide to push her off me very, very friendly like. I'm like, hey baby, look, I don't want to do that right now. Okay, that's all I said. Something to that nature. And she starts hysterically bawling her eyes out in front of God and everybody. Just bawling and screaming because I didn't want her to suck my face off. All right, like a vacuum cleaner. Look, I'm not interested in making out with vacuum cleaners. I'm just not. Especially not when they're five vodka Red Bulls deep, son. All right? She starts crying. I'm not even joking. And now I've got to console her like an even a bigger baby. While she's crying, she's asking me over and over again why I'm not interested in her and why I don't want her and stuff. And she starts telling me that she's in love with me. And I'm like, bitch, we just met like two hours ago. She tells me she loves me and is crying in the middle of a theater and I just met this girl. And I have a sneaking suspicion that it's because of the vodka. I think, honestly, she, she loved the vodka and not me. I think that's what she meant to say. I think she thought I was vodka and she was kissing on me. <laughs> I love you so much. No, dude, I'm a guy. I'm a person. I'm a human being. I'm not a liquid unless I cried off my tip of my penis. Then I'm a liquid. But only then. And never before or after. So after a little bit of her sobbing beside me, she passes the hell out. She literally passes out. She's asleep. So it's fine. It's okay. No big deal. I ain't got to deal with this shit no more. So about half the movie goes by and I don't want to risk it. So I just like walk her drunk ass back to the car. And I just put her in the car and just we just drive. All right. We start driving. And I'm just going to take her to her house. All right. So... On the way to her house, which is like 20 minutes away, by the way, she's like grabbing the steering wheel and shit and crying and just like turning my radio up to max and then passing out for like five minutes at a time. Now, I, I do want to give her some props. She did not throw up at all. So it was great because <laughs> I fully expected to throw up half. We eventually get to her house and I open her door like I get out of the car, obviously, and I open her door and I walk her to her front door, but it's locked. And she, like, apparently doesn't have a key or something. So I just, like, rung the doorbell and banged on the door until lights turned on. And then I just peeled out and left. And then I unmatched with her immediately. Now, look, I got to put this out there, guys. Maybe that doesn't normally happen for her. But I wasn't about to relive that for a second time. So, yeah, I was done with this girl trying to suck my face off. One thing that you guys got to understand right away. If a girl tells you she loves you after, like, a day, get away. Get away because she's not, she doesn't love you. She loves something else. And what she probably loves is the idea that she created in her head the last couple weeks of her perfect man. And she's making that you. And then she's going to ruin your life. Get out. Don't engage. Do not engage. Just leave at that.
All right. Don't even clap her, bro. I'm serious. Don't clap. Look, I've learned a lot in my lifetime. Don't clap. Just leave. Do not come. Do not come, please, Jesus, God. (laughs) 